If some of you may know, I'm a fan of a risk assessment. <laughs> so I completed it one. That's exactly what I did before I asked Mandy out, letting on ask her to marry me. For those who have the pleasure to know Mandy and love Mandy, she is one of a kind. There's a saying, if the word was short one, you would make two. Oh jeez, that's right. Mandy would make more than one. She would make two or three. The truth being, when we first met, I did my wee risk assessment, like some saddle. That's just me. Risk assess, risk assess. I could not and did not realise how deeply you would touch my heart. Looking back to then, it amazes me to look at where we are and now and who we have both become. You breathe life into me. The soulmate makes you be a better version of yourself and you do this every day we are together. I am a better version of myself because of your love. We were truly meant to be together. There is no me without you. I am without a doubt the luckiest, <laughs> the luckiest man alive to be with you. Good afternoon everyone, on behalf of Mandy and Alan I would like to warmly welcome you all to Clandy Boy Lodge. A special welcome to Mandy's mum Donna and dad Trevor and to Alan's mum Moira and dad Lawrence. And of course not forgetting the wonderful members of the wedding party, Trevor, Philip, Catherine, Johnny and Sarah. Mandy and Alan are about to embark on the next chapter of their lives and are delighted to be sharing it with all of you, their very nearest and dearest. You have all shaped Mandy and Alan's journey up to this point, and for them, today is as much a celebration of their relationships and friendships with all of you as it is of them. The vows Mandy and Alan will exchange today in the presence of those they love and whose friendship they enjoy and value will demonstrate their love and commitment now and for the future. First and foremost, marriage is a celebration of love that two people share. It is a major and significant event in their lives and in the lives of those close to them. It joins two people who trust that the other has their best interests at heart and gives meaning to truly wanting to spend the rest of their lives together. When talking to Mandy and Alan separately about each other, they said some remarkably similar things about their relationship. I asked them why their relationship works and both mentioned being best friends. In fact, Mandy's words actually were, we're best friends that fancy each other. <laughs> Which I think ticks all the boxes. <laughs> Lastly, I asked Mandy and Alan how they plan to make their marriage successful. Mandy said that they are going to keep being themselves and will continue to have a bit of crack and do the things they enjoy. Alan said, we've been together for so long, what we do works. Continue to love each other and support each other no matter what. There's no Alan without Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I, Mandy, take you, Alan. I, Mandy, take you, Alan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And from this day forward. And from this day forward. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. Mandy and Alan, you've freely consented to join your lives. You have pledged yourself to each other by the exchanging of rings. And in the presence of this company, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss.
just the chapter in my life. You're the heart and soul of my story. And without you, there is no us. Without us, there is no me. I'm excited about our future together and can't wait to keep turning the pages of our story forever. <laughs>